five years ago, whenever I go to Disneyland, if I want to go with friends or relatives, I would have to rent a, one of those portable carts because I couldn't stand for more than a couple hours time. I had bad knees and I weighed too much. So I figured so we've got to do something. So then I talked to my knee surgeon. He says hey, he would do knee replacement if I lost weight. So I was able to have gastric bypass. A year later, I had double knee replacement. And then nine months later, the ride opened. So the first, they had preview days before the ride. So I went and I was like nervous, will I be able to bend my knees enough to get in the back seat? It looked like the front seat was good enough leg room, but back seat was gonna be kind of tight. But when I got in that back seat, that was, that was it for me. I fell in love with the ride. And that very first ride, I lost my hat. They found it, called Lost and Found and mailed it to me two days later. So that first half year when they opened in June of 2012, I did 56 laps. And then the next year, 316. But when I got to 300, I had a sign, and one of the managers noticed me with the sign so that when I came back after that race and I held the sign up, she had all the cast members start clapping. So that's when I got my first picture ever with the cast members. And then after that, I said, well, last year, 2014, I want to get 1,000. So when I got to lap 999, they pulled the car over to the disability area. All the cast members were there waiting for me. They said, we're well, here, you got one more lap to do. And they jumped in the car with me, we did the 1,000 lap, I had a sign. They gave me a piston cup and a couple little art pieces that some they arranged for me. And from there, that made me even want to go even more. So when I got to 2000, we somehow got ABC to come out and cover the story. And that was a pretty crazy day, people from work and people from the ride and I got to ride with the same well two of the cast members are in the first ride and then two other cast members joined us so been crazy ever since then and then when ABC came out I told them I wanted to get to 2400 by the end of the year which was like another 400 and this was like November 17th that I got to 2000 so I had to scramble and I was able to do it it came down to New Year's Eve I needed 30 on New Year's Eve didn't think I get it all the cast members said you're gonna get it you're gonna get it and right before midnight, I got that lap to get 2,400 for the year. The best part of the ride is the race. That's what I like the most. I mean, that race keeps me bringing me back, plus the connection with the cast members, the pit crew, as, I, as they call themselves, it's the connection that I have with them. I mean, two of the girls even invited me to their wedding. So it's that close connection. And every once in a while, I make them baked goods. After every 100 laps, I get pictures with all the cast members, and then I put them in a photo album, make copies, and so I always take them a photo album. So last year I took them two albums, and so far this year I've taken them three albums, so just the photos of all the ones that we've taken at the ride. I have a little notepad that I keep track. I write down the color of the car and the number of the car, because certain cars, like red has six cars, and then some other cars, there's only five of those cars, and some of the cars only have four cars. So I write down the number of the, the color, then the number, and I write down the lane for the race, either Luigi's side of the race or Ramon's side of the race, and then if I win or lose the race. The place where I work at, I work Wednesdays and Sundays, so I have Mondays and Tuesdays off, and usually stay the whole time, Mondays and Tuesdays, from park opening to park closing, I'm at that ride. And I keep track of my breaks. If I go for a break, I write down if I've gone for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and then come back and I even keep track of when the ride breaks down and maybe why it breaks down. And then we just go from there. And I also do a blog and so I do a blog post. May it depends. Sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's every two or three weeks. But, you know, especially on the big lap days, I always do a blog and it's just different thoughts of what happens during the day. Or maybe on one day where I'm going for 46 laps or the most laps I can do a day, I'll do a blog for that, stuff like that. I also post on Facebook. At the end of the day, at Racers, every time I go, I post on Facebook to different Disney groups, plus my, in general, to the public. You know, I have a lanyard that has the number of laps. It says times on Racers, and it has the number. So after every lap, I take out the number, so it's a new number. So people will see me in the line, they'll point and say, no, that can't be true. And I said, yeah, it's true. I've been keeping track. And I start friendships, pass out blog cards. So. I've seen people this year that saw me last year, they came to visit at the same time and they say, oh, we saw you last year when you were at 2,000 laps or like stuff like that. It's just, it's a conversation breaker in line with people and they seem to be interested, especially the different Disney Facebook groups there. They think this is great. They show up and they want my picture. I, it's hard for me to understand why people want my picture, but it's kind of cool. The best seat in the car is the front row in the middle, but that has the most leg. But being a single rider, don't really get in that seat. I usually have a seat on the side because as a single rider, you're just filling seats. So if 
family of four or a group of four or group two goes in, the single riders get placed in those cars because there's three seats in the front and three seats in the back row. So usually I sit on the right side, either the front or the back. One of the cast members even pointed out to me that purple number one actually has my initials on the license plate. They don't belong to me, they belong to Imagineer, but my initials JH are on the back, on the license plate of purple one. But I actually kept track of purple one a little bit and I actually lose in that car and actually when I've raced against that car, the car has beaten me too. But I like purple one. The only car that people would probably know would be red one and that's John Laster's car. The guy that did cars. And the only time that I would ever even go to another attraction if the ride breaks down, I know it's going to be an hour or so. I may go over to Animation Academy or I'll go visit people somewhere else, but then I'll always, always seem to come back before the ride opens just to visit with the crew in front of the ride. Sometimes that's a good time to take pictures with them. I have to wear a Fitbit now so I can track my mileage during the day. So I know on the 46, 46 and 47 lap days, I walked 13 miles. I walked from the parking lot over and spent all day at the ride, then walked all the way to the parking without getting on the tram. So, and I've never, since I've had this double knee replacement, this is perfect ride for me to do this because I have, my knees are never sore at the end of the day. I'm never sore there. I'm never, I may get tired, physically tired, but my knees are perfect. I mean, I've actually did a 5K already. So as long as I did my little training walking, I wasn't running. My surgeon says you can't run, but I can walk and I can walk a 5K and I've done it already. So, I mean, my knees are perfect. I mean, this is uh, probably the knee surgery is the best thing I've ever done. I did them both at the same time, double knee replacement. So it makes me, I can stay there all day, stand all day. I mean, yeah, maybe lean against the pole in line, but I, walking and standing all day and I never am sore there. I've always been a fan and eventually, when I was going to college, I eventually got to work there. I worked graveyard custodial, casual custodial. This was way back before they even had a Toontown area. So it was way back in the mid eighties that I worked summer vacations, Christmas vacations. So I loved Disney even then. I didn't necessarily like the graveyard shift, but I liked working there. So, I mean, that's the connection. Plus it's close to my house. I'm only 10 miles away down Harbor Boulevard. It's the closest park. It's I've always had a pass. This year so far, I've been 130 times to the park. So it's definitely paid for itself. Eventually I want to hit 10,000. I mean, hopefully maybe not as fast as this year because this, this year has really been draining as far as the sun and being there. I don't think last year I did too many days where I was there from park opening to park closing. But this year it's a lot of days, especially when I, I told the leads of the ride that I wanted to get to 5,000 November 2nd, that I still had to get, this was like a month ago, I still had to get like 240 laps in and I kind of didn't think that I might not do it until this last Monday when Monday I got 28 and Tuesday I got 39 and that put me right where I needed to be for this week. So I actually went back Wednesday night, got two more, that put me at 4,996 and I went last night, Friday night and got two more, so I'm at 4,998. So when I go Monday, we'll do one lap and then the 5,000 lap. continue to pursue it and see if I can eventually get to 10,000 maybe not in two years maybe closer to three years from now but I want to hit that 10,000 mark and I probably will stop after that but that's a good mark to really lay off the gas I'm gonna lay off the little gas after this year but it always seems like I worry about things that always have a way to work them out I mean it's maybe it's just the Disney magic for this whole thing I mean the cast members have been my Disney magic for sure <laughs> 